Good evening, everybody. You're on the lifeboat with Spanx Calhoun. How does it feel? How does it feel? I'll tell you what, I'm a little nervous, but I have some exciting things planned. We have some exciting things to talk about. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to be here. Um, let's do a little roll call. How is everyone tonight? Davey, Izzy, Ben Bacon Bits, Rolling Stone, Tiff, Zen Wen, Creepy B, Moni69. So good to see all of you. I am the Noise Opera. I love you too. Dania C, Heather, Patty L. Collins. I'm glad all of you guys showed up. Oh my. This is big time. Ice Autumn, Christian Krueger, Nicola E, Monk Searcher, Avina, Charlie Mur Mullins. Charlie Mullins, my man. Zelda Z, how y'all doing? Janet G, Patty, Goosebump. Wow. You honor me. Ter Tara Smiling. We were talking about you the other day. I don't know if you were here for it. But we were totally talking about you. Only only the, the best things. <laughs> uh, Matrix Rabbit, Teresa. Resin, Valerie, Carol, I'm so glad to see you guys. So I guess we'll do some housekeeping first. Lord Kiss Freak, what's up my man? Body Illusion, man, people keep showing up. Katrina, Grammy Jen, Donnie Scattered, Listen Zoe. It's, it's funny, I always told myself I wasn't gonna get louder. As like I watched my dad get louder, it's it's hard. It's exciting. This is exciting. <laughs> Pajama Pixie, Alley Oop. All right, all right. We'll get some housekeeping in here, all right? Is Dennis the Menace in here? So I was going over a bunch of ideas of like what I could do for my first show. And I, at first I was like building this anthology of like different eras of the boat. And I was going to like go through old videos of my dad's and like, kind of like talk about some stuff as, uh, as he talked about them and then like go through different like eras, like when we got our name and when, um, when we did our first live and, um, back, back in the very, very beginning before, before there was lives when it was just videos and, and whatnot. And it was the Tommy Scoville show. There's just a lot of gold back there. So I was doing that. And then I saw it. And then I saw it. Um, and that's my surprise. I'm not going to tell you just yet. We'll get to it. We'll come back to that. We're going to circle back to the surprise. Um, <clears throat> do, do, do. What was the other housekeeping? Oh, my, my dad, the Admiral, asked me to talk about something with you guys. He created a little thing on YouTube um, for him and Reese, the Relata boat. He created a little channel, a space so that they can do that thing. Um, like, uh, yeah, so he created a Relata boat channel for Relata boat stuff. So if you guys are into that, I know a lot of you are and, and some of you aren't. So if you are into that, all Relata boat all, all related boat stuff will going forward be done over there. So I encourage you to go check it out. It's called the related boat. Um, and I think they're going to be going for like a more podcast style thing moving forward. And in fact, I suggested, I told my dad, I was like, y'all just need to do the podcast and name it and, you know, run it because it deserves its own little thing. Um, so I think that's, he went and turned around and immediately did that. So go check out the related boat. <clears throat> In order to do lives, I think they they only need like 4,000. I might have to adjust my camera angle for the next one. 4,000 watch hours or something. Um, they just don't have that yet. So it'll be up and running before long, I imagine. I think they've made bets to see uh, how long it'll take. Um, I think that's kind of funny. <clears throat> so yeah, check that out. The captain is not leaving. The uh, related boat is not his new home. Um, this will forever be the Admiral's home. Um, he is now the Admiral, I'm informed, as I ascend to the captaincy. Thank you, thank you, Reese. It's good to see you. Thanks for checking it out. Scooby, good to see you. Brazy, 
Um, Tommy's probably watching this. Um, I don't, I don't know exactly where he's at. He's probably at home. Um, I invited him to check it out, but, uh, moving forward, I'm going to be doing a whole lot more of this. Um, and, and he, he's going to be doing some of this too. He's going to be doing a whole lot of this as well. Um, you're going to be seeing Tommy regularly, but I'm going to try and take, uh, take as much as I can, you know, while the getting's good. So I think, I think that's all the housekeeping family. Do you guys want to know what the surprise is? And I hope I didn't build it up too much because then maybe it's a letdown. But I mean, I'm so excited. I think we're going to have so much fun with this. Um, thanks, Janet G. I'm pretty stoked on it. <laughs> Tell us. All right, Plant Freak, Tinker Mom. Good to see you guys. Sherry. I need to go subscribe over there at the uh, Related Boat as well. All right, all right. So I'll, I'll quit with the suspense. So then I saw it. And what I saw was my dad's first live. And I started watching it to, you know, farm it for ideas. And immediately it made me laugh. It is so funny. I'm not using my hands. That must be someone else. Um, it was, it's so funny. So I was wondering if you guys want to like watch some of that with me and laugh at it and see how far we've come and kind of start this off on on like a nice circular note, like a nice root note. You know, my first live, we'll, we'll watch a little bit of my dad's first live and we can have some laughs. What do you think? Nice to see you, Kristen Melinda. An ancient treasure for sure. An oldie, but a goodie. And for those music lovers out there, I'm also big into music as most of you well know. I spent about 30 minutes today messing around with like my own little intro with like some different music and I uh, didn't really figure it out, but there will be no lack of, of tunes to get stuff in your head. Um, just give me some time. All right. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. That's my buddy. I love that guy. <clears throat> All right. So without further ado, I give you the very first life oh give me a five by five on this audio he's not going to say anything for a little bit so i guess wait on that five by five look at that neatly trimmed beard by the way i don't think he knows that he's live <laughs> dapper dan Nice. The sewing machine, always a classic. You guys didn't know you signed up and subscribed to the sewing circle, the captain's sewing circle. I know he always downplays his crocheting, but I bet you it's epic. All right, people. Here we so, go. Uh, five by five, please. A minute early, but uh, the live feed underway. People, when you pop on, if you can tell me who you are. And uh, so I can welcome you to the feed, and so that I know that this is actually working. All right, uh, we've been down that road. So if you're just joining me on the feed, please say hello so that I can tell that you're here. Let me know you can hear me. Can you hear me? Fantastic. Everyone? Thank you, everybody. Good to see you. Bye, Ed. Let me see you here. Just Pauline Yarn Prepper. Lisa Trimble. Lisa Trimble. Could be louder. I always am worried about that because he gets pretty loud. Ah, look at that. Didn't get a notification, but you're here. That would be Mr. Saigon Cinnamon. Thank you, my friend. The uh, gentleman who designed the first t-shirt here on the boat, Mr. Saigon Cinnamon. Whether he realizes it or not, he is the uh, designer of the first shirt, which I am sure will be nicknamed the Saigon Cinnamon for uh, the duration of the time that that shirt is around. So appreciate your help on that. <clears throat> people, I'm going to wait for uh, for a couple of more people to get on the chat. Does he have the sun in his eyes? That I got to make that I think are fairly cool. Didn't get a note. Yeah. The, uh, oh, he's just trying to read chat. Some, uh, some notifications coming up that I think are going to be uh, 
yeah, there's Things lots of these. Things that have grooves too. We've got some uh, pretty That's cool a, stuff that uh, we're going to be doing with the boat. Papa Scoville thing. The, uh, I think really one of the mooses. agreements that we get from most mooses. people involved is that, uh, you know, this is a safe place. It's a place where people come and have, uh, Mr. Nathan Lane, good to see you. Um, right. This is a place where people can come and uh, and feel good about I'm sharing have to one get another. Some glasses too. You'll feel like to be honest, my eyes are already when hurt. on the boat. Um, and we've already seen in the comment section, there's been an awful lot of subjects that, man, any other place in, uh, you know, in the, uh, in the social media realm, people just would not be comfortable opening up the way that they do on the boat. <clears throat> Unfortunately, uh, this is really the only place that uh, that's going to happen. And, um, you know, that's kind of, un, uh, that's kind of unfortunate. I can check that, the date. You know, the only place that that people feel like they can open up is here on the boat. I love the fact that there's also the live chat from here. this day as well. Uh, however, I wish it was um, in more places than just here. And, Sometime uh, two years ago, I'll have to check more people on here. Ah, I'll, I'll tell you now, we'll just sort of reiterate as we go. But um, I have uh, built a few more harbors. Hey, Monk. That we can go and uh, thanks, and Patty. Like we have the same kind of insulation from the, uh, the negativity and the hate that is just so rampant throughout all of social media. Uh, and what ends up happening is, uh, this is his first live ever love and life. Am if, if you're just showing up, this is the lifeboat's first live of, uh, rehabilitation and recovery. So, and I intend to Facebook group have some laughs watching it, is, it. Uh, it's the lifeboat. Um, what you're going to need to do is send a email to Captain this is October Tommy Scott 21st or October of 21. Is, uh, then get you an invite over to it. I sent out invites to about. I don't know, a couple of dozen people who have uh, been with me from the beginning, people that have, uh, Charlie Mullins, people that have been with me from the very beginning, <laughs> I sent out uh, uh, some invites to, and we've already had a lot of them come back. I think there's 14 members uh, so far. It is a safe hey, harbor, people. It's somewhere that you can go outside Thank you. Good of the to see you. boat. I moved the you uh, tell everybody here a little bit about membership yourself. button to the top for you. This big. Uh, in the comments it looks like you found it. To, you look uh, good and green. It's difficult to do, but if you head over to our Facebook group, uh, you have an opportunity to uh, to get to know hey, the Cosmic, good to see your you. mates. And uh, I think that's important. I think it's uh, it's it's going to benefit the boat. It's going to benefit the show, and more importantly, it's going to benefit everybody here. You know, we're all trying uh, to live our best life. We're all trying to live. A, I'm not going to uh, put up with that Yankee Kyle. And the more avenues that we have to openly discuss things that are important within um, our sobriety and our walk, then the better off we all are. I realize hey, that uh, it's difficult to do here. You know, this is kind of a different format because uh, people in the comment section. This was funnier when I wasn't reading chat. So I'm going to, that's awesome. But I'm going to comment uh, on what he's saying. I think, you know, in the, in a place like a uh, Facebook live group, there was so much more that can get done. People can look at pictures of your kids. People can, uh, can look at all kinds of uh, information on you. And you can share things and sort of banter, banter things back and forth. And I think that it's going to be a, uh, a real bonus. You know, the last, I don't know, out of the last six videos that I've done, there's been quite a lot of stuff concerning. Good to see you, my friend. Mr. Real quick. Um, I just read, yeah, 11 Life M. Tommy is more at ease now. He is so much different, just like black and white. He came over earlier today knocked on my door and it was the the admiral himself and uh he just felt different he felt at ease he felt so so much better like just not stressed you know he's been really stressed out lately and it's been you know i've been a little worried so i just want to tell you guys how much weight is off of his shoulders uh, i just want to let you guys know like wh how what what this means to the captain this means everything it's a big deal um and i'm so happy that i have the ability to do that I'm so grateful. Anyways, Martin, um, there's been a lot of uh, of talk about negativity, negativity in Ahoy, Nancy. Media, negativity on Layman uh, Jackson on Instagram. On Facebook. I am honored, and sir. It occurred to me, gentleman well, and whole, scholar, doing well that there's no reason we can't insulate um, those uh, avenues and those forums the same way that we did YouTube. Right. YouTube can be a very negative place. I don't think anyone will uh, disagree with me on that. It can be hellaciously negative. But here we are with a little oasis. I'm going to have to uh, get a trophy, y'all. People who care for one another, who 
truthfully support everyone. So that we can do the so participation thing. So I'm pretty into that. Facebook, and why not do the same thing on Instagram? So in spite of the fact that I've got a pretty large presence on Instagram, was I'm that you, Miss Dragon? Anything there? Uh, so those of you I have seen in the last couple of weeks, a lot of people will see, Davy. We will see. Have uh, had the opportunity to. Um, I don't know if that's follow. in his vocabulary that's anymore. Great. I try to. Post anything. I try I to say it in his presence a lot. Just you know, I say recreational of, I words out. just uh, around him. Just see, so maybe he'll absorb them slowly. Uh, I have put together a. Uh, an Instagram page as well. If you go over to uh, Instagram, you will see the Lifeboat Show, and you can uh, <laughs> hit subscribe on the Lifeboat Show. It's going to be run very. You've never watched any of this, have you? Dad? rules. Uh, you don't watch yourself. Apply to things posted. So I can see why. I mean, stuff on dang. you know your normal Instagram that. No, this is, is great. Uh, is laden with f bombs and uh, and you know negative things about uh, about politics and religion and things that are just offensive it's probably not going to be a great forum for you but if you want to go somewhere where you can uh, you know get to know people better and sort of have a little group within a group he's still doing uh, housekeeping everyone be, uh, a great mix that is at which is instagram the not a bad thing show. i was just the, i just uh, noticed that it's the same thing on facebook now with facebook what you're going to have to do is email me your uh, info on facebook because i'm not well, this was the beginning of, of the Facebook page, page as well. There, which I will continue to do some stuff with. I'm not super active on, on Facebook, but uh, it's just Tommy. Wow, Stoke, how far we've come. You'll uh, recognize it when you get there because as opposed to a picture of me, you're going to see the bat symbol, right? You're going to see the uh, the symbol for the lifeboat. <clears throat> and if you, uh, if you go there and ask to friend me, then I will uh, most assuredly give you an invite to uh, our little group. And it's going to give us a safe harbor away from the boat because uh, I think that that's get some rest, Patty. Thanks for checking in. I, yeah, take care of yourself. We'll, we'll see you around. I'm not going anywhere. I promise. All right. Live feed. Uh, I'm going to probably pull up and show you uh, the mock-up of the shirt so that you guys have an idea of. Uh, you guys what are not going to be getting Patty in my chat. Shirt looks like y'all better nip it's, that in the butt uh, right now before I do. Uh, from a post that he did, I'm sorry, a comment that he did on uh, one of our videos. That the uh, there was a point where we were talking a lot about getting off the deck. Be I swear, <laughs> truthfully, doesn't matter on all that is um, holy. You know how many times you're gonna choose down. It's about this exactly moment to do I that. Was, uh, I think on that video, I did the. Uh, you could be in timeout. Uh, a couple of quotes from some people. I don't know if I did Cohelos. I don't know if you ever read any of his books, but uh, he famously that said, breaks my the heart. "Secret to life is to get knocked down seven times, but to get up eight. I just put her in timeout. And that's so I don't know why it says banned every time. She can come not, back tomorrow. Doesn't, uh, it doesn't matter if you relapse. It doesn't matter if you stumble. It doesn't matter if you fall. As long as you continue to get back up and do everything within your power to live uh, that life. Well, as we were doing that, I did the Nelson Mandela uh, quote that he did at his um, the winning of the Nobel Peace Prize, uh, where he said, I hope this is not, you know, that I'm not being judged based on my successes, but I hope you're judging me on how many times I got knocked down and then got back up. With the Nelson Mandela and quote, huh? On that video, Mr. Saigon Cinnamon, who, by the way, I named. I'm not sure if you people knew that, but uh, he uh, left a comment that said, um, never quit quitting. And, you know, the day he did, there were so many people that said, boy, that ought to it's be not like a, and I'm not a, like a choosing or anything. T-shirt that we do. I'm here. just not really into that conversation on my first live. Come on. Like it's, I find that really mantra. disrespectful, actually. Never quit quitting. Like Just I love Fee. I love Fee a lot. Keep dusting yourself off. Um, and uh, that hurts and my feelings. Get somewhere, and that's <clears throat> so. That is the first T-shirt. On the sleeve, it says um, the lifeboat. Right below that, it says crew, because as you know, people, everybody here. Oh, is no, you're all good. Everything's um, good. I promise. Everything's to, great. Uh, you know, to hit that subscribe button, jump on board the boat. Uh, our goal is simple. We're going to uh, we're going to go out and save as many people as possible while we're still on this planet. So that's the first shirt. Uh, I've got three different uh, people the so far. The beginning of the shirts that they would like some rubber um, bracelets, very similar to the one that uh, my brother Johnny has. Did we never do the rubber Jesus. bracelets? Oh man, I'm going to put that on my list right now, y'all. I'm also still in charge that, of all the stuff I, like I was in charge of before. Uh, by the way, the, uh, rubber bracelets. <laughs> I, of course, I'm going to be doing all the things because. Uh, my wrists. Uh, what
Oh, good advice. Please, good advice. Yeah, uh, Nathan Light says never stop starting. I mean, never start. Never stop starting. If you can, uh, it's it's a very similar concept. It's, what about uh, now? You know, get up off the deck. If we can uh, continue to uh, to make sure that you know you, it, it's the the last time that you don't get up. You know, those are the people that. Uh, that no, wind up I think I'll handle it way better. Um, I didn't see the, who that uh, was. The best thing going. Margie, Jack I think I think back. I got it. No, he is not. <clears throat> people, you may see Jack is back in the uh, comment section. Um, Jack is, uh, Jack is one of my favorite people on the planet, in spite of the fact that he goes AWOL on a pretty regular basis. Uh, Jack. I was digging through videos and watching stuff earlier and, um, was one of them. I was watching a live and watching the chat go here. Let me do this for now. I was watching the live chat, right? And I was noticing people sh say hello to someone that wasn't there. Like they were saying hello to ghosts. And it, for a second, I was like sitting there thinking like, huh, what is going on here? This is so strange. This is so weird. And then I realized that I've seen that name in uh, the ban list. Um, but it's funny. So when you ban somebody, it take, it deletes all of their comments. And I imagine, judging by my experience earlier with that video, it probably takes their comments away from all of the videos. Unless that was the video that he got banned on. But I was thinking, I thought that was uh, really funny because it, it, wasn't an ex exactly intuitive at first. It just looked like people were saying hello to someone that didn't exist. And it was kind of funny. <laughs> um, anyways, as we were through is, uh, a gentleman who was privy to member for three months. Love mama made. bear. Uh, Thank you very boat. much. Um, it's so great yeah, to be here. Very few exceptions. Jack was there for all of them. Um, and it's, uh, it's, I'm glad to see him in the uh, in the live feed. I really am. He's uh, one of my favorite people. Discord on the is an app and we use for connecting. Buried, so I better to say something like that because uh, you know wouldn't want Jack upset at me. No, for real, he was. Uh, you remember the story that I uh, that I told? Uh, I told my dad that earlier. I was like, as you were rock, Commodore, and he said, and "That's Admiral, the, uh, Captain." <laughs> you know, the, the arrest happened. The, police car we were driving down the road and the police car was going the opposite direction actually like right out of the movie rubber so band. The, e -brake, the back end slid around and then just started smoking in the other direction and jack looked over and went boy they're in a hurry he's he's really after somebody <clears throat> i said yeah i have a feeling that uh, they're after us but uh, jack was the one that i was talking about in that story uh, the other one where uh we we did a video where he's I got some about ripping how, stories there's a phenomenon among addicts where you know he, an alcoholic gets the drink in his hand and before he even has to take that thing to his lips um there's that instant uh it's the proof my other's keeper thank you so much great to see you in the captain's chair space it's great to be here those feel good chemicals are released he hasn't started drinking yet obviously the congrats on hasn't kicked in. your or first sailing us captain calhoun sip. thank you so much you janet g say all the time that when the first sip touches their lips i'm so happy to right? be here with y'all i'm so happy that y'all are happy they, too that uh, makes me even more happy this is a phenomenon, people, that really hammers home every single thing I talk about, that all addictions are just based on the reward center of the brain. It really That is good to know. Or Noted. the THC I will or the uh, strike it from the, the lifeboat. Um, all of those things become logs. secondary to the reward center of the brain, making you feel. LRH was really Commodore. Happy. How fascinating. And, uh, you're doing the right That's thing. That's ruined Obviously that for me forever. Thing. The brain starts to. What he's talking about here. Doing I'm right not thing. doing a good job of this for. Why is it doing that? That has got to be the most irritating thing ever. I know I'm back, but like, is that going to happen again? What was I even saying? I don't even have a brain injury and I can't remember. It's all right. You know, that just proves that forgetting what you were just doing is normal. So there you go, dad.
take that. You smart. Um, what were we talking about? Oh, he, in this video, boop. He was just talking about when an alcoholic has a drink in their hand, it does something to the brain. And I am an alcoholic. I can totally um, vouch for this one. Alcohol was definitely one of my choices um, in uh, in all mind-altering substance. And uh, having a cup of coffee in my hand does something to my brain. Having a drink is a necessary thing for me. I feel very itchy. I don't know if that's the right way to say that. I, I feel uncomfortable um, if I don't have a drink, um, especially in a social situation. When I'm at home by myself, you know, maybe not so much, right? But if I go out to a function, if I like a concert, for example, when I first quit drinking, that was hard um, because I used to, you know, get drunk at uh, at shows a lot, at all of them, every single one, in fact. Um, so, yeah, not like. Going in there and like making the decision to buy a bottle of water wasn't necessarily the most intuitive thought process, but arming yourself with knowledge, knowing that if you're going to quit drinking or you just quit drinking, maybe you want to have like a beverage with you, you know, if it's not alcoholic so that you don't find yourself in that weird, uncomfortable feeling position and not, you know, not have anyways, I think that this is one of those really good tidbits. Thanks, Bresden. I, uh, and you know, may, uh, Long live the Admiral, you know, may he live forever. A video on that where uh, I talked about being in a parking lot and we were waiting for a delivery of, uh, of drugs at the time. And I've done plenty of that. Jack continued to say, up, oh, there's the gold Honda. Up, oh, there's the gold Honda. Each time um, he was incorrect. So the story that I told where I said, man, the next time you tell me that it's uh, that it's the correct Honda and it's not, I'm going to kill you. Isn't that, that cool, Izzy? Uh, was Jack. So it's good to see you. I definitely feel the like comment section. Jack is there is a push. Honest, so I would imagine that in the uh, in the near future, there's going to be some uh, some stuff that Jack Jack is going to do to uh, you know to help with some of the uh, the merchandise stuff, help with some of the. Design it's crazy things, how you know moving forward. Utterly uh, defenseless. Just got on the feed. People the mind feels when faced have, with um, uh, over drugs and alcohol. And if you stop by. Or how defenseless that it can to, be. Uh, follow, I agree. Uh, the lifeboat show. The reason that I started another um, uh, page over on uh, on Instagram is because I got Spicer. seven or eight thousand followers, or somewhere in there, seventy nine hundred. Good to see you, man. Doing a whole lot. Don't take it personal because it's they're not. not um, they're not crew members, and. You know, people, uh, anybody can follow you. I didn't uh, I didn't restrict anybody. And I ended up with a lot of people who uh, were not the most positive people on the planet. And I, one of the reasons that I stopped posting over there is because I am just not going to do the garbage in, garbage out thing that we talked about uh, on a video, I think this morning, where if you allow yourself to just pump the there will still be cat in the basket content again and again and again, Hill, I promise. what you're going to get out of that is garbage out. There's just no way around it. That's how it works. So if you pump in garbage, you're going to get garbage back. So one of the reasons I walked away from uh, from Instagram, and, and I felt bad doing it because there's a lot of great people uh, that follow me over there as well, but I just uh, I can't deal with every other post being political and um, every third post having F-bombs in it and just the, uh, the you know, the over-sexualized stuff, and it's just... Uh, it's, I don't think it's media has healthy, changed quite a bit since uh, before he went in prison. I imagine the over sexual se sexualization, the uh, what he's talking about on on just Instagram. I mean, even ads on TV. No, uh, um, I can't imagine going to prison for was it seven years? I might correct me if I'm wrong, Dad. But going away for that long to a different world and then coming back to the world that you thought you knew and realizing that it's an entirely different universe. I can't imagine that at all. Um, and I have so much respect. I have so much respect for him. Uh, like, and for what he has done and how far he has come. And not just with the boat, and I'm not even talking about the boat now, just like personally with his life, with, with himself, with his health, with his brain. Um, I'm, so, I'm so very, very grateful. And 
you know, we did a, I did a video talking about the difference. Hey, Starfish. The whole white knuckle Cinderella's glass zipper. I love that name. The exact same person you were. Um, I think I saw Johnny, my brother on this. Uh, and this isn't necessarily what we'll be uh, doing all the time, Monk. I just thought this was a, a nice, uh, on this, um, a nice way to start. Who have perspective on just what kind of human kind of like a group watch party review of my dad's first life. Um, you know, we don't have to watch the whole thing, but if it's entertaining, so and when I did, if we're, you know, getting what we need out of it, isn't it, isn't it genius and perfect to get sober. And I made a list of everything that I was. Yes, he is Mary Jones. Thank you for saying um, so. The list of who I was is terrifying. In the very near future, Jack is going to come down here. Uh, he lives in California and he's coming down here. We're going to uh, film couple of a uh, couple of videos and I would love to do a very candid interview with him where um, I ask him questions and I want him to be honest about who I was and you know the kind of individual that, uh, that yes I just was. Pauline will be uh, going live um, on the seventh mountain standard time is because he actually um, did this first in fact I'm working uh, on getting our hours so posted everywhere that people go that the website the youtube discord the, uh, i don't want it to be a mystery when we're going live really kind of the truth. So um and if we do anything extra you know that's awesome too but we're going to be doing the, the regular schedule for sure at the very least so um instead what happens is we uh you know we both sort of had this life changing all my life before, deeming uh, for me i told you what all my uh, life <laughs> she asked, to, so how long have I been training for this day? Jack ran his, uh, his vehicle, uh, I believe into a bridge abutment, but if it wasn't, it was definitely off the side of the road and he almost killed himself. Oh, and this was a, uh, a not really what you want to do accident. I'm hoping that at some point I can, uh, get some pictures of the truck and, uh, what he just was talking about running a car into, a something he shouldn't. That reminded me of a quick story. Um, me and my buddy who was in here earlier, Jake, um, got in quite a horrific car accident once upon a time. And we're lucky to be alive. That's all. What he did to it, because the fact that he walked away from this vehicle, it's one of those things that you look at the picture of and go, how <laughs> in God's name did anybody walk away from that? But uh, the fact that he did, the fact that he was able to walk away from that is, um, is dramatic. <clears throat> and the fact that he's still have you rich, watched my cousin sg you know, i need to go check his channel out i'm and, slacking uh, and here we are today you know but i the, miss my uh, cousins the hope is that i can get him down here to tell you people a little bit about uh the person that i used to be uh versus the person that i am today uh, i'm also so blown away people this is uh it's not he says he tried to walk but his legs were shattered that's really what happened Good i had to spend time in the hospital literally legs uh just shattered people that I can't imagine how that happy either. I am right now with, uh, with where this boat is. It's easy for me to, uh, to take 10 seconds in a video because of the, the, uh, the size, you know, it's funny when the very beginning of the video, I had so many things to say and it was so funny to me, but once he, once my dad gets talking and, and communicating, nothing can stop him. He's a natural. He's just not a tech whiz. You know what I mean? I thought that there was going to be lots of funny stuff and really this is just uh, a good life. Solid, uh, solid conversation with uh, the Admiral himself. Which is cool too. Um, you know, this was on the drawing board for a long period of time and we're so far ahead of the curve yes there were lawyers now, there were uh, with this channel there was We've lots of so uh done in such a short period of aftermath time. that's a story and for another really day rick spicer thanks for asking though um sir tedrick walker good really to see you comments people say a lot of really really cool stuff about me and uh and i love it and i'm getting better at um at taking it speaking of before i forget because knowing my brain i will forget um I'm pretty sure that the journal is done. Let's talk about the journal for a second. I have written this thing and rewritten this thing and rewritten this thing. Um, we've given it to a number of different, I mean, y'all know the story, right? It has gone through many different forms, many different ideas. Um, and I think that, think that what we have now is going to work.
And the reason is, is because I didn't give it to anybody to publish or like mass produce, or I, I, I created a life. I called it the lifeboat compa uh, journal companion. It's intended to be a companion to a journal. So you either want to like have a book to write in a journal or, um, it's a, we're going to be letting it go as a digital download. That way everybody can access it quickly. I don't have to have someone publish it for me. I can just put it on our website. Everyone can access it. Um, and you should be able to like the file when you open it, you should be able to write into it. Um, and if that's, it, it's the only thing that is left to do. The only reason it's not done is because I need to do some compatibility testing. And without explaining all the details of that, I just need to make sure that it's going to work as intended for everybody, regardless of whether they're using their phone, their computer, what kind of computer or phone they have, blah, 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 blah. I just want to make sure that everything is, I really hope that sound came through. We're going to do one more for the watch back uh, for myself. See if that's audible. Um, yeah. Going to make sure it's just before I give it to everyone. But if all goes well, I think I'm going to I'm going to release it tomorrow evening. Um, and if that and yes, it is going to still be printed. Um, the file that you download can be printed at home if you have a printer. But we do still intend to make a journal book. We just had so much trouble doing it that route, making a paper book that people can buy and gets shipped to them. Because I'm I love a hardcover soft cover. I love having books I, on a bookshelf, you know, physically. Uh, it's a big thing for me. So I get it, especially with writing in the journal. If this was all in one thing, um, that would be ideal. But I think this is a nice holdover. We're going to have a digital download of a PDF file that is the Lifeboat Journal Companion. Um, so it is going to be the exact, it, it is the book. It's just not paper uh, right now. So I hope that Hope that you all love it. I'm going to be working diligently tomorrow to uh, um, get that thing tested and, and or maybe even tonight, honestly, after the live, I'll probably button it up because I'm so excited. I might not be able to sleep if I don't finish it. So, but um, you guys are going to like it too, um, I'm sure. So, yeah. What do you guys think about that? Thanks for your patience. What do you think about them apples, huh? Hey, Henny. Thanks for showing up, Lacey. Seventh Son. Heck yeah, guys. Lifeboat family. Let's do it. Lady Tina Marie. Um, you know, I guess we could watch some more of this. I might do some skipping. I, really am. I promise you I am. But uh, the truth of the matter is, people, um, if this was on to two people or if this was on to, um, you know, a thousand people, it it doesn't matter. I'm going to be doing exactly what I'm doing. I'm going. I wonder how many people are in this live right now. I guess I could look, huh? It's not showing me anymore. Is that because am I frozen? No, it always freezes when I'm messing with the share screen. So maybe we, we will mess less and trying to help people get sober. I am curious like how many people are on this though. Of, uh, not going to the one we're doing now, the one we're life. viewing from the past. The fact that um, I have a group of people that get it, that's why we are where we're at on this boat. It has nothing to do with uh, you hear that? me as much as it has to do with um, the fact that you people are already supporting one another. I remember talking that's to Johnny right. about this and, you know, I, I'm, I don't know if, uh, what the right word is. I've been very fastidious in, in my planning of uh, what I wanted this channel to be. Fastidious. Very attentive to and concerned about accuracy and detail. Fastidious. The child seemed fastidious about getting her fingers sticky or dirty. He chooses his words with fastidious care. Fastidious. And when I first started to uh you know, laying this out very similar to my sobriety. I had a list of exactly what I wanted this channel to be. And <clears throat> my hope was that by a year into it, there would be a core group of people that understood exactly what I was trying to do. And 
it wouldn't be like pulling teeth. You know, the group would uh, would start to support one another. They would start to, if you're religious, you would pray for one another. If you're people that send energy, you would do that. And if there was a hurricane bearing down on someone that we cared about, that uh, it would be the focus of everybody's attention. And all of these things that happened within 30 days uh, are a tribute to you, the, uh, the most positive group of people that I've ever met anywhere. Uh, I said in one of the other videos that I didn't anticipate um, becoming so close with all of the people. Uh, I didn't anticipate making friends. I, as I had this in my mind, it was sort of a me, and then there was this audience thing, and uh, this it's just audience not thing. the way it has uh, transpired. Um, <laughs> it has been so much different. Uh, Good night, Queen of Awkwardness. You know, in terms of of what this uh, of what what this has become, it's. I yeah, can't take tell care you of yourself, plant tree. I appreciate the support, but because the migraine's not worth it. Have left. One of the reasons that uh, I am coming out of retirement almost um, to do a version of Tommy's picks is because there is so much gold that is left in the comment section. So many things are said that it's such a waste. I put up a lot of content, right? I don't think anybody's going to argue with me that I put up a bunch of content. So that's a great thing. It's good for everybody. I really believe that. The trouble is that great comments are here in a second and gone because six hours later, there's another video going up. And because of that, some of the greatest things that have been said get lost to the, uh, you know, to the video, at least just to the core members. I mean, people who are just coming in. And on that note, um, I fully intend to, and again, this isn't going to be the only stuff that I do. I just thought this would be a nice transition, a, a fun first first day, right? But um, I fully intend to, um, at some point, go back and, and uh, review some, some of the older videos before there was lives. If I can figure out how to make the audio proper and, and not drive me nuts, I would love to do that uh, because there's so much gold back in those old videos when... Anyways, yeah, they're all great. I missed something. All right, sorry, people. For the first time, we'll end up reading these things, and that's awesome because there's knowledge. Uh, a lot of people are really helping one another with those uh, comments. But um, I'm not sure if he did or not, to, Kristen. Uh, to pick some of I'll have out. to ask him. And what we're going to do I would is have to imagine he Saturdays. didn't, knowing his style. On Saturdays, I will be doing something. And once again, Saigon Cinnamon uh, comes up with the name. Uh, it's the Captain's Choice Awards. In Over at Chase the Heat, people would go to the Winter Circle. And if you've been over there, you know that the Winter Circle had uh, large recliners. And uh, usually there was uh, somebody bringing around. Yeah, I was thinking about doing that in Carnosol. I'm not exactly talking sure about where we're going what to send my dad's talking about went. here with the comments. And I didn't really have a whole lot to do with um, how uh, all of that happened the, on uh, Chase the Heat. With the call-in show, I was thinking about highlighting voicemails. Um, there's a lot of ideas um, circulating, so I probably just need to, to pick one. I think uh, tonight when I get in the comments section, uh, maybe we'll try that out. We'll see. But I think it's a great idea. I mean, the whole point is connection. The whole point is is getting to know each other. So. I think that I think that that is uh, too good to pass up. It would be a missed opportunity, I think, if we were to not do that. Good night, Davey. Sleep well. Are you out of here? Heat either. Uh, very much like here, the uh, you know the. Over at uh, Chase the Heat, you've got the bus, and the people on the bus sort of dictate what happens, and it's very much the case here too. So I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of um, what this develops into this Captain's Choice Awards. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I do know this: I will be picking uh, more than three. That's what I did over at um, Chase the Heat, but since I did it daily, uh, three seemed like a very good number. Since I'm only going to be doing this once a week, I will be picking uh, considerably more than than three. And I've already started doing it, people. I've already started to uh, to take screenshots and, uh, and write out some of the things that, um, some of my responses to, to them. Wait a second. The captain's taking screenshots in 2021? I had faith. I had faith. And I think that it's uh, it's going to be a beautiful thing. I think it's really going to give an opportunity for some uh, some people to shine. There are people who are very, very creative. 
uh, whose, you know, wit and, uh, and insight, you know, really needs to be highlighted. At Chase the Heat, very oftentimes, it was uh, the funniest comments that made it in there. Uh, here, that's something that's going to happen. There's no two ways about it. But uh, here, there's just a completely different subject. You know, ask for support, prayers, whatever the case may be, you got another place to go. And the other one that is important because it gives me an opportunity to do one hour live feeds on 10 seconds notice and do some things other than uh, it gives us more venue. To let me how let me tell you how much the Scoville's like 10 second notice. It must run in the blood or something. Do exactly the kind of things that I'm doing right here, right now. So uh, over on Instagram, it's going to be under the same name, right? It is the Lifeboat Show. People, this should be very easy to remember. Why? Because this is the Lifeboat. It's a show. So go over to uh, Instagram, to the Lifeboat Show. If you have already to the life uh, gone boat and, show. Uh, started following me on Instagram under uh, Tommy Scoville, please go over and do it to the Lifeboat Show. That is where I will be posting. Uh, I, I don't know how often I will post, but it will be a place that I can keep everybody abreast of things. Um, although it says Gotta keep you here, abreast. those of you who have channels or those of you who play around on uh, on YouTube, it has a place where I can go and put a message out to everybody in the group. Unfortunately, it really doesn't allow that to happen. <laughs> Whenever I go there and do that, play with some different layouts coming. moving forward too. There's no reason I need to be so small. I don't right think now, um, it is not supported for me. I'll get emails from everybody who tells me that I can do it. And here's what I need to do differently. I promise you people, I've tried it on a laptop. I've tried it on an iPad. It's giving me the business when I try to do it. And I'm not sure that I want every single person who's checking us out for the first time to, uh, to see anything personal that I'm trying to get out to the crew. However, doing it on Facebook or doing it on Instagram, I think is a beautiful idea. And again, it gives us an opportunity to do um, some live feed stuff. But to take just a brief moment. Do, 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 do. <laughs> We're back. You guys okay, thought there was um, going to be no Green Acres. Hunter Haas, okay. All right. Okay, good. People, um, this is uh, for the first live feed. I'm closing in on, uh, what, about the 50-minute mark. Um, Imagine that. I don't so want to uh, necessarily run this thing too ridiculously long. Uh, what I want to do is uh, I wanted to make sure that this equipment works. Who's Daryl Hall? Um, I wanted to, uh, to make sure that this is something that I could do. Uh, I would like to. On the oh okay, we're gonna act like Sig, that didn't happen, right? Uh, I'm gonna Sig, fix it. They came over. Oh, thank the Lord, Sig! I'm so glad that you came here. You know, you see something. What the heck? I'm so came. sorry. Uh, Sig, good to see you. No, it's um, me. People, before I. Uh, but you can keep thinking start, it's you. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anything else? Uh, I need to do a shout out. Thank you, Brazy. Portion, right? I need to do a shout out this big. Uh, you I have speak. A goal. And the goal is to change the world. Pretty simple. I just want the world to treat addicts like they're human beings. And, uh, you know, what are we going to do today, Pinky? Like this, and uh, it's like the cellmate I had who said, Same nope, thing nope, we do every too day. Big, too big. You're never going to pull it off. Too much pressure. Way too much the pressure. World. You know, it seems sometimes like they're, we're setting these goals that are, um, I'm not going to say unattainable, but certainly uh, are large in scope, almost frighteningly so. This made me think of something, especially for getting so getting sober, um, which is often a monumental goal, especially you know if you go really to to to, to the depths, um, it can be a very monumental task laid ahead of you. Um, and baby steps is 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 the way to go about that. Is the way that I went about that. I should say. Um, you know, just one foot in front of the other. You don't, there is a, a greater goal, right? Of sobriety 
of whatever the goal is. It doesn't even have to relate to sobriety, but in my life, in order to make progress, I have to take things in small steps, um, no matter how much I want to recklessly leap, you know, and I want to ascend today, you know, to the greatness of whatever. Um, it's going to be baby steps that carry me to where I'm going. So when somebody comes along that not only sees that vision, but says, I will do anything to help. It happens. It happens. It actually happens more uh, frequently than you would, uh, than you would imagine. What doesn't happen frequently or at all. Sometimes five minutes at a time. That's right, Carol. That and makes it their mission to actually uh, make your mission their own. Um, Mark Wages, from the moment I met him, has been that guy. He has been a person that says, Shout out to Mark um, Wages. There's nothing I won't do to make, you know, your dream and your channel and your vision get further. And then proceeded to do exactly that. The number of people that are listening to me right now. Is this <coughs> from uh, uh, recommended there and or back or again, The Hobbit's Tale? Astounding. And I have other people that do this. If not, that I like those words. Say, yeah, anyways. go over and check out, uh, you know, Tommy. And what I get is a subscription. Wages. Never going to meet rocks. the person. They're never going to come on. That's They're right. Watch a video, but they'll come and subscribe because it's done sort of out of a of a respect thing to the uh, to the host of the other channel. That is just simply not what has happened from uh, from Wages World. Um, the people that Mark has uh, has sent over here have assimilated into this community as if we have all known them our entire lives, and so many of them uh, have just. I didn't do anything that time, I swear. I don't know what's going on. If it People keeps doing that, I might have to cut the, it. I don't, I really don't like that. Uh, there's been a different focus. There's been a different energy. And uh, I can't think just of trying to fool us. You uh, give me too much credit, Ben Bacon okay, Bits. This is my boat. <laughs> I wish it would no, never serious, do that again. But, uh, you're going to get sick of me saying this because the, the amount of effort and the amount of time he's put into uh, to really make this, uh, to make this happen. And uh, he's a, an individual with a sixth sense because as much as I am an evolved creature people, and I'm really I'm looking at it. Complain uh, to my dad about this. Still the, uh, the lunatic from my past that sometimes is about that far below the uh, surface. Take yesterday, for instance. It when, is, uh, must be Mercury in retrograde. Right my feet did not happen right up to the, to the point where I hit it and nothing happened. Mark was with me on the phone. And when he realized that, um, that it didn't go, he uh, he reached out on the telephone and when he heard the sound of my voice said, hey, it's not a big deal. We're going to get all this ironed out and you just give me a call if you need me. Like he he, uh, he knew right off the bat that that probably wasn't the time that I wanted to hear about different things that uh, that might have been uh, the problem or how they were going to be fixed. Just a very intuitive guy, an excellent guy. For those of you who have been with me about a year now. I know, right? Uh, you guys got to come up with new nicknames for me too, like Technical Tommy. Tommy. You know what I mean? Been, uh, friends now for a really time. excited for all that kind of special Mark. love from the crew. To meet Mark so if you feel so called um, to make fun of me, uh, we're going to be doing a uh, an interview where so I really want you people to get an idea of uh, of who this guy is because uh, first of all, he's one of us, right? He's uh, he's a gentleman that has battled uh, addiction. Yes, he does, Cinderella. And, it's uh, undeniable, he's a isn't it? Successful YouTuber in his own right. He's got a huge channel, good following of great people. And uh, what he does, you know, when I first saw the channel, I thought, I'm never going over there. This this stuff is so far above my head, right? I'm not a guy that can. Uh, no can pun intended. He deals with uh, with weather and outer space, and you know, it's it's heady stuff. And I, and I'm not that cat. I'm really not. One part of my brain works really well, and it works really well to the point where people then assume I'm intelligent. Not so much. Granted, but is I'm he a good communicator? I don't know if I can grant sometimes that. Sometimes they get confused between the two. If I can, what he does on his channel is he brings it down to a level that even a Scoville can understand it. And 
I now actually really enjoy going over there and watching this stuff. Some of the images that you see, uh, you know, coming off the sun, some of the, the, uh, the visuals that you see on Mark's channel is just amazing. But I'll tell you what keeps me there is um, the fact that he's just a really positive guy that runs a great program, very similar to what I'm trying to do here. Uh, because uh, like anything else in life, and I've said this before, if somebody has what you want, it's not a bad thing to emulate them. So when I was putting together the idea for the channel, I took a lot from Chase the Heat, right? There were the, the no politics, you know, the no religion, the, the all of the things that have become the four rules, I stole directly from my older brother because they make sense. Um, but I have learned so much from Mark about YouTube and about, there's a reason people that I say C19, right? I would just sit here and say the name of that, uh, of that illness what did he say? 400 times and in doing so have the algorithm go don't not only don't promote this guy but stick him in a closet and padlock the door you know these are things that i would never learn captain spax oh look made, at that uh, from oh fact, oh dear be it begins the, uh, the old c um 17 plus two because i think that the uh, the number with the old one nine is probably becoming an issue too with the algorithm me or the <laughs> captain i think uh i definitely have a I propensity for a little self-deprecation uh, this has been um, as good a dry run as I could have possibly dreamed. We are, uh, we're I'm on, still on. I'll Izzy. tell you something else, people. The uh, the way that I have this set up is um, is a little bit different than I've seen other people uh, do live feeds. The uh, I literally am looking at you. Hmm. The comments are going up now. Whether or not I'm uh, I'm fast enough to get be able some to ones up read there for go. but. Um, you know, I can see Grizzly, oh, I, I can see uh, Anna, I can see everybody first. sort of doing their own, um, you know, comments as they roll up, which is awesome because as I get better at this, Barbie. Um, the ability to be interactive with what people Barbie are saying is, is going speaking to be about. Uh, There are also going to be some changes in how we do some of this. People I did ask for it, Anna. That a day is coming, and it's not coming next week, but a We're day is coming fun. where... I haven't read any of them yet, so I'm probably going to be laughing later when I go through this. A day this. is coming where every single time I do a night video, it's going to be this way. Now, it'll be a, a minute. I'm sorry, Barbie, do, I did not but, find that comment. Um, this lends itself to a completely different kind of uh, communication. It's um, it's more personal. And, uh, you know, you, you watch a video and you start wondering, you know, how many times oh, your did you sister. Hit stop and I'm redo sorry this? to hear that. Uh, I am a guy that doesn't uh, that doesn't do a lot of scripted stuff. This has been the death of me in terms of uh, having to. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. Refilm. Anytime I've ever had to to shoot again, I don't have a blooper reel. I really don't. Um, this stuff is so. Personal reacting to, me. to the reaction. You know, I Wouldn't spend that so much time something? researching it that most of this stuff is just serious resale value. About friends and I eat them, <laughs> which is, I think, what why we uh we get along but uh the only time the only blooper reels i've ever had is when the phone rings i'm usually jack or uh or my daughter um will call me in the process of filming that usually is the uh the death of me but other mm -hmm. than that people there really isn't any of that it's uh setter and a closer it's uh pretty standard stuff the uh and you know i i always had a soul oh wait wait, wait. Was just really he's talking about stuff that i know about I available on credit cards and then they were handed off to somebody like me and nothing uh, my happened. job was to take about ten thousand dollars off of that credit card and do it in about i swear i'll fix that without a it's not going to happen tonight and i sold things the fixing is not going to happen tonight but often. it will happen and it's uh anna see she's the thank you guys for your patience i'm so sorry it is space weather or something i can't even hear any wind outside the, uh, I guess it's and, space, yeah, the space. Way. You know, I I always had a soul, people. It was just really dented and kind okay. of dirty. I do want to talk I about had one phone sales without a contract, and a call from a startup specialist. Startup specialist. <laughs> that startup. 
than that. I did trainings and boot camps. And, but for the most part, what I was doing was business opportunity. You guys ever seen infomercials where people say, I made $200 in 15 minutes by using. That's what my dad did when I was a kid. I have pretty vivid memory of all of this, but I, he, uh, this was, was his business. There was always the new deal. You know, he was selling like insulated sports drinking bottles for a while. He was selling, uh, like magnesium bicycle frames, um, setting up phone rooms, you know, having this business partner, that business partner, you know, I, I shouldn't say any names and I'm not going to, um, but I mean, I, I was there for, for all of this in the, in the beginning. And, uh, anyways, using this system. Okay. Those info, some of them legit, some of them not, I may add commercials, get somebody a kit. Then you get a little kit in the mail and then you get a call from a startup specialist, startup specialist. That startup specialist puts you through an interview where he asks you a series of questions. And really the only purpose of that is to find out how much money you have available on credit. Qualify. So that's the setter. The setter's job in this dynamic is to set, you know, he throws the pitch and then the closer. And then they were handed off to somebody like me. The second and, guy. Uh, my job was to take about $10,000 off of that credit card and do it in about 30 minutes without a contract. And, and I sold when I was young, I didn't have, like I didn't really understand what was going on, but I did understand that some of what my dad did wasn't right. And some of what he did was, and I can't explain to you why that is or how that is. Cause we're talking like 10 years old and younger. Like, I think I was 10 years old when we left that first, Uh, I don't know if anyways. Yeah. I think I was about 11 years old when I left my dad. Um, yeah. Things I didn't believe in. I sold them often and it's, uh, Anna, see, she used to work in sales. You get it. It was a two part sale with a setter and a closer. It's uh, pretty standard stuff. The, uh, and you know, I, I always had a soul people. It was just really dented and kind of dirty, but I always had one. And, you know, as a, in, in, in people are in sales, we used to call it either hard telemarketing or soft telemarketing, soft telemarketing. And I know this is off topic, but for whatever reason, now it's on my mind and I'm sure that it was thoughts provoked from our conversations and, and what we're watching. But I will also say, you know, you would think I would have all kinds of bad memories and stuff, but I tell you, I don't know if I repressed things or if it's just the innocent eyes and mind of a child, but I only ever remember my dad in, in the best light. Um, I only remember all the good stuff. I shouldn't, like, I don't, I have bad memories, but the majority of my memories of me and my dad are fantastic of, of that time in, in my life, of my childhood are amazing are of love and joy um you know there are obviously other things mixed in there but i thought that was i've always thought that that was a strange phenomenon and i've always been very grateful for that because um i don't know yeah good <laughs> memories are better than better than the alternative you know so thank you Ann casillas you're so kind is um hi my name is tommy i was wondering if you would like to switch to the new york times from the post like that kind of thing or the time life operator where the hard telemarketing is you know visa starts with the four mastercard starts with the five how are we going to take care of this today and you're trying to get large sums of money from somebody um you end up trying to talk to talk yourself into it <laughs> i definitely am going to need uh, some glasses y'all do it boy would my I eyes like are right up. Fee on a sales call uh, yeah, well, things are kind of tough right now. Okay, it doesn't then, help that I've been day. staring at this computer screen for two days straight. <laughs> I can't straight. imagine uh, Fiona's trying to sell something. And I say that with respect, Fiona. I'm not, uh, I'm not picking on you. Yeah. Um, but I, I would, uh, but for me, there's, there's this sort of divide between what I did and what I'm doing. You know what I mean? And I wouldn't want, if God forbid somebody from my past popped up and said, oh, yeah, he just got X amount of dollars from somebody. Just, this is just his new hustle. Um, that's... That's not something that, that's not something that I ever want. Do you understand? Thank you, Miss Moore. I, I thought it was kind of, uh, and you know, live feed is something where there's a little give and take and I can give you people a little bit more 
uh, info about who I am. You know, I think that that's kind of important, but um, I don't want anybody to, uh, I don't want the mission that I'm on right now to start getting confused with this. Zelda, I hope that I can do this um, a whole lot more for y'all. not the goal. It really isn't. Uh, the, uh, the goal that I, I have, I've been pretty straightforward with what it is I want to do. Um, but I will have you know that uh, pressure and uh, and realizing that at some level you got to practice what you preach and you got to start you know living exactly what it is that you uh, you know that you tell people. Um, there's a donate button. How do you like that? Uh, I have uh, put up a donate a donate a donate button. See that I'm st- first time I stumbled right first time I tripped over my tongue. I'm super uncomfortable with it. I'll be honest with you, but. Um, I can relate with Saigon that. is leaving. Saigon, I love you, my brother. Asking for help wait for is you to see the shirt. You know, something that I did not know how to do for a very, very long time. I'm sorry. And I still um, struggle with it today. Yeah, I put up a, I put up a donate button, and it's uh, it it was Saigon. Well, uh, uh, I'll thank Mark for that. I can't believe you guys are well, Mark has, uh, dealing with this, Mark just putting up the, with uh, it. The concept better to I appreciate it very him, much. Um, up to that point, he really had, uh, um, you know, when the, uh, when everybody tries to say to you, this is why you have to have a donate button up there, that it just always sounded just wrong to me. Uh, Mark, as usual, has the ability to, um, to take things down to a Scoville level. So that uh, so that you can yeah, understand that. exactly what it is that he's uh, remark. Did I just see the word puppy? Oh, wow! <laughs> well, I can't tell you how badly I need a pet. Uh, but again, thank you. Oh, Mark, this for, is uh, free squirrel. People, um, if wow! Mark is still on, perhaps he could tell you in the comment section right now when tomorrow we will be doing our uh, our interview. Huh? 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 Mark, I will hope that you will put up that uh, you're going to tell me exactly when I'm interviewing you tomorrow. It very well may be the admiral uh, yeah, in the people, background I need, messing uh, with me. He's for the first time in a very, very long time. I'm not counting my incarceration. I am without a pet. If he's the coyote, though, I'm definitely the roadrunner. I'm quick. Of, uh, I'll figure it out. with furry creatures. I have... Uh, um, you know, deeming it is so kind of you to ask. Of, um, of scientific... Uh, data um, I that can't says, think of anything. Um, oh, I clicked on the wrong one. You know, you live I love you too. Lord, kiss free. So many great I'll come back that to that. Bring into our lives. I don't I can't um, think of anything right now, Deeming, that, that y'all can, can do to help me. Fiona but just being here, so supporting. Be a, I mean, that's you know, a good. Thing. That's like uh, uh, the best. The best. You know something? You know. And I appreciate and that I so very much. Truthfully, I think that the. So yeah, thanks for showing up. Or didn't see the comment and hanging out. She was talking about Mark uh, wages and his was ability that kiss to, freak uh, comment. to educate. Way Honestly, before Squirrel. The, uh, when did he get Squirrel? Growing up, I'm about to go on a deep dive on without making you feel stupid. Squirrel's really, arrival. Um, you know the the discussion to a level that can be understood. There's a fine line between bringing something down to a level where you guys are you feel lovely. Like you're patronizing somebody um, and bringing something down to a level that. Still can challenge we'll somebody to learn, bump. but isn't going to leave them in the At dust. Ease. And people have, you know, I've had a lot of concussions. I've had, I suffer from a traumatic brain injury. There are some things that uh, that make it difficult for me, and it has been absolutely amazing. Uh, I'd like to speak on that for a second. His traumatic brain injury. Sometimes it's hard to believe because he's so sharp, and he's so good at what he does. And it's my dad, you know, I've, you know. You don't want to believe that kind of thing about about your loved ones, but um, you know, I guess that those are things to be grateful for. You know, those are definitely things to be grateful for. I love you, Dad. 
to watch Mark do what he does. If you've never been to Wages World, for the love of God, please go over there and watch a live feed because what he does is astounding. There are kittens adopt. Oh, don't say that. I could have one of Romeo's tribe. For those of you who don't know, I have a, uh, a cat that follows me on, um, on YouTube. And apparently, he's probably sitting watching right now. Apparently, every time I come on, Romeo will uh, come and immediately take notice and seems to watch YouTube. He is the cutest black cat you've ever seen. That so sounds like the cutest Romeo. darn thing. Yeah. Something behind the ear there. Um, let's see here. Mark, do not leave here without telling me what time I'm interviewing you. <laughs> see that? Just when I compliment the man. <clears throat> uh but tomorrow night, people, there will be a live uh, interview that goes on between uh, Mark and myself. It is, uh, I will be um, announcing in the morning exactly what time that interview right. is going to go up. Seems like he's about to end. You never really know, but I think I've had enough of his first live. So what do you guys think? It's a good watch, yeah? It's a good watch. So if you weren't here at the beginning, um, my first idea was to do an anthology of like different eras of the boat. Um, and I still think I kind of want to do that eventually. I don't know when, I don't know like in what order I'll execute my ideas. Um, but I will tell you what my intentions and goals are with the boat now that I'm going to be taking a more active role. Um, Number one, I would like to honor and facilitate and uh, uh, like take care of what uh, what we've built here um, as much as possible, like the top priority. You know, I would like this, if, if the lifeboat were like a beautiful tree, it started as a tiny sapling, you know, and it took a lot of love and nurturing, you know, and hanging out and watering and sunlight to, to to become what it is today and uh i don't uh i don't want that to stop i want that to continue i would like uh whatever it takes to continue doing what the lifeboat does um we're going to be doing that um i do have lots of ideas we might go a little bit out of the box now and again like i know that this wasn't necessarily like out of left field but you know we haven't done something like this before so i want to thank everyone for trying it with me um, I would also like to one day, and this is a much more farther off goal. Um, this is not immediate, but I would like to make this mobile. Oh, I should be able to do this from anywhere at any time. Um, the lifeboat should be able to operate free of physical boundaries. Um, for me as well as like, I mean, we have people all, all over the world. Um, I'd like to go all over the world and meet lifeboat people, you know, and this, again, that this is, you know, we talked about immediate goal. This is very long-term, right? And, and who's to say, I can't even put a number on it or a time on it, but like, I would like to see the boat sail around the, the friggin' world. So <laughs> I hope y'all are down because I'm going to, I'm going to try and work on that, you know, um, there's a number of other things as well that I envision and see, but first and foremost, I'm going to make sure that we are business as usual. We're helping people. We're connecting. We're talking to each other. We're greeting new people. You know, we're supporting each other when we're down. Um, and, uh, you know, when, when we're up, we're, uh, we're just as supportive. And I love, you know, there, I love the boat. I love what the boat is and what the boat stands for, what the boat has become. Um, and I'll be darned if anything's going to threaten that. <laughs> so there's that. Wow. Most of you made it all the way through. And when I say all the way, I mean to this moment right here. We've been hanging out for about an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, and... I'm still drinking coffee. It's kind of late for me to be drinking coffee. I have to tell you, I'm going to share a, a struggle, a recent struggle with you guys. Um, I get up in the morning for the morning boat, even if like y'all don't see me, I'm there, right? So I get up every morning for that. Um, and then I do all kinds of other stuff, right? During the day, I don't, I don't just go back to bed. 
Um, and then, you know, now I'm going to be doing this in the evening. And I, I shouldn't say now because I've always been a part of the boat in the evening, even again, even if you don't see me. Um, so I have a lot of waking hours. Ooh, pardon me. A lot of waking hours and not as many sleeping hours. So I've taken to napping in the middle of the day for a couple hours. And when I get back up, I reach for coffee because I'm a weak, weak man sometimes. And I just want a little jump start. And uh, it doesn't make very well um, for sleeping like when I need to be sleeping to get up early in the morning. So it's a vicious cycle that has been biting me in the butt lately. So I'm trying not to drink a pot of coffee in the evening. In fact, on that note, let's stop a uh, glass and a half short of that. Because I'll never sleep again, you know? I'll never sleep again. And that would be tragic. Car in a basket. I, I believe you mean cat. So I don't have a cat. I wonder if I have anything cute that I can share. I don't have any animals. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to come up with something. And I definitely don't want to spoil all my surprises in like one video too. So um, we've got to have a little bit of mystery. There's got to be more things to find out about Mr. Spanx Calhoun. So in the spirit of that, I don't think I will be spilling any more of my surprises. Because I have a lot of them, but we're going to dole them out one at a time for sure. Thank you guys, everyone, for being here. I kind of want to keep going. Um, I just hadn't thought about what to do yet. Belinda Strang, I'm glad you're doing this. Awesome. Thank you so much for saying that. Member for six months. Glad you're here. Crazy girl. That's what I was doing. Barbie MO4. I have bathroom Renos. I have. I'm not sure I understand, but I really appreciate your support, Barbie. Crazy girl. Love you. Shauna B, thank you so much. Check it out. So I am missing a piece of my finger. Can you see the difference? So now my peace sign is all kinds of messed up, but my horns are more even than they've ever been. We'll go through them all again. Um, you can never super chat too many times, right? And when I say that, I mean, if I read it twice, it's no big deal, right? We can read them three times. Who cares? Teacher nurse, new member. Welcome. Love mama bear. Welcome Captain Spanks, member for three months. I'm glad you're here. My other's keeper, member for three months. Great to see you in captain's chair, Spanks. I have to say it's good, it's good to be here. Janet G, thank you so, so much. Congrats on your first sailing as Captain Calhoun. Has kind of a ring to it, doesn't it? Matrix Rabbit, we are here for you, Captain Spanx. I appreciate you. And right back at you, Matrix. Ann Casillas, gifted 10 lifeboat membership. You are so kind. Shauna B. Barbie, ML4. Brazy girl. Maybe I'll get a car and a basket just for you, Brazy girl. I'm sure that wasn't intended, but maybe it'll be funny. I'm glad I'm doing this too, Blinda. Miso Smokes, I don't know if I've ever said hello to you before. My peace sign is uniquely cool. It's my favorite. I always throw it up at strangers. Nobody ever notices, but I always bring it up. So it's okay. You want me to read that right now, Lord Kiss Freak? Is it, uh, is it for the boat? I tried to teach the captain how to do so many, um, pardon me, the admiral. 
I tried to teach the Admiral how to do so many tech things, and it's just not in the cards, guys. Um, and he's completely, he has the horsepower. It's just not, it just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't work out. Um, technology and him have this relationship where technology is just, just tries to really get, really give it to him. And uh, I don't know how much I try to mitigate that. It, uh, their relationship is what it is. So, but in, in uh, saying that, I can pull up your messages immediately, Word Kiss Freak, while we're live. I, I am capable, although my internet might not be capable of sustaining itself while I do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Um, yeah, all of the contact information should be the same. Sober at my Yahoo, um, if you want to get a hold of me. Um, you can see you guys in the comments, in the Discord. Um, if anybody needs help getting into the Discord, let me know. Um, if there's anything you've been dying to talk about on the boat, hit me with that. Uh, if there's anything that you absolutely do not want to talk about on the boat, hit me with that. You know, if you got absolutely no good intentions at all, hit me with that. I don't care. Hit me with everything at sober at my Um, and I am so excited for the future. This is going to be the coolest thing ever. In fact, I mean, it already is, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but, you know, I sound like a child when I say things like that. And I don't mean to put myself down at all, but we have serious work at hand. We have serious business to attend to. You know, it is fun to connect. Part of connecting is having fun. You know, but um, I just want to make sure that everyone understands uh, that that I care deeply about the mission of the boat. Um, I care deeply about spreading connection and uh, about these ripples and about um, anti-addiction. Dread pirate Calhoun. That would be the dread captain. <laughs> That would be the dread captain. Although I don't really want to inspire fear. I kind of, you know, that's like the opposite of love kind of, but it is really cool. Maybe, uh, maybe on Halloween, I could be the dread pirate. Did I miss uncle Johnny hitting me with the wisdom? No, love you, uncle Johnny. Good to see you, man. Thanks for ch checking me out. Hey, Midnight Show. Thank you so much. Wow, this is so stimulating. If you've never done this, let me tell you, my brain is just... It's like an ADHD wet dream right now, for sure. You know... You know, just Pauline, I don't know. They're both about the same. And you could even put them together, too. Um, I have no preference. Whatever, whatever you whatever you think. And and same to that, Janet G, I think. Uh Captain still feels a little awkward on my head, but um, you know, maybe that it won't feel so so weird as I as I earn it more. You know. Thanks, Brittany. Fan Breakle, I work at that. I try really hard because my it's really easy for me to not be that way. I come by it honestly for sure. I have been told to come check out your channel, Tara. And also, someone said had a great idea. I think it's a great idea. They said Spanx, you should interview Tara. Um, and I can't remember exactly. I should go back and check out. I should have checked the comment out before I said this to you because now I'm going to paraphrase it wrong. But it was such a great comment. And I think it's a great idea. If you would be down for an interview, I don't know when I want to do that. But I want you to know that I would like to interview you on, on this channel at some point, if that's something that you're into. Um, oh, the person that commented and made this suggestion said, Tara, the girl with the good questions. 
<laughs> I was like, I know who that is. <laughs> yeah, I think I think so too. Cool. I'm glad. I'm glad you agree. Um, Cedar is right now focusing on her degree and school and college and whatnot. Um, so she is not doing a whole lot for the boat currently, but that, that can change in the future. The door is always open to her. Um, but I'm also going to support her and whatever, you know, she decides to do as far as I'm concerned, Cedar's royalty and uh, the ground she walks on as well. So, um, yeah, but yeah, no, she's, she's very inspired. Um, she's loving school and, uh, she's definitely, is um, in, in that regard, the best of us, I think, uh, definitely following in her mom's footsteps, which is really cool to see. So I'm really excited to see what comes of all that. Thanks, Mary. Got no time for beating around the bush, you know, or like dressing something up that don't need to be dressed up. I do like dressing up quite a bit. But not just for the sake of it, I guess. Modern Major General Banks. I do like that too. That's a ring to it. Good night, Elio. Quickly chugging a full glass of very, very cold water. Are you trying to get me a cold headache? Love you, brother. You're a good man. And the more I've been around this channel and community, the more I find it a beautiful place and I've grown to love and respect you and your dad a great deal. Wow. Thanks for saying that, Jake. That means a lot. Do you mind if I tell some non- personal stories about us, like about how we met, maybe. I won't name company names or roommates or anything incriminating, but you mind if I tell a little story about Jacob and Mike? It'll be better than the last one, I promise. <laughs> I feel like that wasn't very fair, Jake. I feel like I put you on the spot and everybody was expecting it. And how are you going to say no, right? I didn't realize that when I set out on that path. I want you to know. But we're going for it. We're already here. We're on the precipice. So um, I was in Salt Lake maybe 12 years ago. 12-ish. Who's counting, right? And... I was in Salt Lake because my grandparents had reached out to me. I was homeless and my grandparents in another state and somewhere else, I was homeless. And my grandparents had found me on Facebook and they reached out to me and said, Hey, come live with us and, you know, get your things together. Basically, you know, those weren't the words that they used. Um, it, it was more of a conversation. It was more of a dialogue. I don't remember exactly what was said, but basically they invited me to come live with them and get, get my life together. Um, I took them up on that and it was a very long and hard, arduous path. Um, a year or two, somewhere between a year and two years, most likely into that journey of living at my grandparents' house in Salt Lake, getting a job, getting, getting clean, getting off drugs. Um, I, started working at this call center that was handling the Affordable Care Act customer service. You guys remember that Ob Obamacare thing? Uh, the first year that that happened or the second, I can't remember. I feel like it was the first year I worked customer service in a call center for Obamacare. And let me tell you, it was wild. It was nuts. Absolutely nuts. Maybe it was just me that was nuts and my perception was, was wild, but uh, man, well, it was quite, quite an exciting place to work, I have to say. <laughs> Jake can back it up because that ended up being where I met Jacob. Um, 
Jacob and myself and two other people that we all met working at this call center ended up uh, deciding to move in together. I think like a week after we started working there, which my grandparents were pumped about. They were stoked that I was going to move out. (laughs) Um, In fact, they were pressuring me heavily, mighty heavily to do so. Uh, But I had some money saved up that they had, you know, at at their behest. Um, You know, so it ended up being a decent opportunity that I pissed away. But in doing so, I met one of, um, one of the best people ever, um, in Jacob Skousen. Um, it, that's a man that, um, I have been through hell and back with, um, during the time that we've known each other, we've also individually been to hell and back on our own little crazy side quest adventures. Um, and today I am so very, very proud of where he, himself and, and myself were, where the both of us have ended up and how far we have come um, without getting into specifics and spilling the beans on things. I, I don't feel like I have permission to do so on, you know, we, uh, we have both walked very, very colorful paths and uh, you know, we're both clean and sober and uh, living, living a different life today, you know, uh, moving towards goals, accomplishing goals, you know, doing adult stuff like paying rent and laundry and uh i don't know yeah just that may sound mundane but for for people like jacob and i that's everything those are things that we couldn't even fathom being able to take care of before which i don't know i love that guy i'm gonna stop i'm gonna quit with that one yeah hey cheshire are you all right what's going on huh Sorry to hear you're feeling off kilter. Let us know if there's anything we can do to help, all right? Man love is legit. Sometimes I just want to get together with my boys and sing songs. You know what I mean? I'm also going to out Jacob for uh, he knows Russian drinking songs. I believe the story goes that he went on like a school trip for the wrestling team to Russia. And somehow winded up, wound up in the bar with his teammates and Everyone in Russia sings in the bar. So he learned, he knows Russian drinking songs. And every time I bring this up, I feel like that I can, that I can remember off the top of my head. He doesn't think that he can remember the lyrics, but then as, once he gets going, he gets, oh, da, 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 da. I don't know the lyrics, but <laughs> um, I guess the, uh, the song that I'm remembering him singing is a song. It's a love song about a warhead. I believe I might be messing that up. Like, it's a lady's name, but it's also a bomb. And it's a love song to the bomb. It's a drinking song. You know, I I have done this before. I have definitely sunk to these depths. I'm not above it. Um, I'm definitely not doing this these days, but sometimes I think about it. Are they live right now? I definitely don't want to be taken away from their time. I would feel selfish. Dr. Strange Love, how I learned to love the bomb. I do not know what this is, but I will be finding out. That sounds so curious. Yeah, can we, uh, let's help support TKD for life and Jen Marie's channel. Um, two lifeboaters, two, two uh, big parts of lifeboat that are starting their own ripples that we're really excited about. 
go over there, show them some love. Hit that sub button. Must watch. Is that a, is it a movie? Surviving the Cracks, I believe. Can someone post? Oh, there it is. Fantastic. Yeah, go check out Surviving the Cracks and, and show them some love. These are our people. There is something to that, isn't there, Deeming? I wholeheartedly believe that Jacob was placed in my life for a reason, purposefully. I, I know not which hand places such things, and I'm not even sure that it was a hand. You know what I mean? I'm just saying that I think that him being in my life is purposeful. And it is not by accident. Yeah, they're about the same, huh, Frank? Boom. Peter Sellers show. Fantastic. Thank you for uh, turning me on to that crew. Cinderella. I appreciate you guys. I'm going to check that out. In fact, let's write it down before I forget because you know I'll probably forget. I need to start organizing my notes as well. Dr. Strange Love. Let's go. Hey, Yadira. Glad you made it. Cold era, Cold War era film. Interesting. Five by five, am I good? I'm good. Oh, she's probably just starting at the beginning. That makes sense. Well, you know, I kind of want to, I feel pressured to like come up with a topic or like do something specific, but I don't think I need to. I think we're fine, right? We're totally fine. I, I honestly, I might put something on for just a second because I have to use the bathroom so bad. If you guys don't mind, maybe I'll, uh, I actually have something uh, ready here. One sec. Thank you, Pete Taylor. You got some big, big shoes to fill. You know what I mean? And I uh, try not to think about the size 13s too much. Um, what am I doing? That's right. We're going to find a video so that I can go to the bathroom real quick. And I'll tell you what. I was watching. Which one was it? So good. Was it this one or was it? I don't know. Hold on. Bear with me. Bear with me. There's so many old videos with so many different flavors. I think it's hilarious here. I'll, I'll uh, I'm going to share my screen again. I think this is hilarious, but so this is a bunch of our videos, right? The first, I want to say like 40 live videos all had the same title. The lifeboat live, 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 the lifeboat live. <laughs> oh, this one has a thumbnail. I think do the going back, I can't wait to do the anthology going back through the different eras of the boat and the different changes and evolutions and watching my dad like figure it all out what a thumbnail this one this one right here is great just yeah the whole thing is great the whole thing is great look at all these darn videos the one um yeah the one we did is the oldest video we watched this today um Maybe I shouldn't be so picky. I just totally need to go. I'll be right back. That's what did that. Attention hell diver. I play.
one shot or one smoke or one snort or one pill, you know, that it, uh, I'm just so happy that uh, I could achieve this without any of that. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of general housekeeping and then uh, I wanted to talk about uh, some stuff that I think is important for us as a uh, sort of as a family here at the show. Um, in terms of general housekeeping, I am continuing to get emails and uh, some comments that say, don't worry about running a longer video. I'm sorry about the longer videos, regardless of what you say. Um, I've done the, the research on this. And even those of you who say, boy, let's go with a longer one. Statistically speaking, that is not going to work. So I'm going to try to, uh, to, to keep them smaller. Um, here's the thing. The next time you watch a, a, a television show or worse, a movie, watch how many times they cut the scene, right? So I'm talking and then they show the next person talking and then they show me talking and they show the next person talking or in a, in a car chase scene or whatever. Um, it's astounding if, it, if they film for more than seven seconds before they cut. And unfortunately, we grow up this way. Um, that's how we watch things for any kind of entertainment. Now, obviously, with, with education, it's different because in school you stare at the teacher. But um, you, know, you put on a Fast and Furious movie and you're looking at thousands of different camera angles and cuts and edits uh, before that film is over. And we tend to... Uh, to get so accustomed to that, that staring at me for 15 minutes and listening to me talk nonstop starts to make people uncomfortable. And they... that's an interesting note to sit back down at. Hopefully that intermission didn't make anyone feel uncomfortable. I don't know why it would. His voice is so great. Thank you, Awakened. You know, knowing that the legions of the lifeboat have my back is such a comforting feeling. Such a comforting feeling. Um, also, I guess I should go over some things that I already went over just for people that might not have been here at the beginning. Um, the journal is done, pretty much. Um, it has gone through rewrites, rewrites. We've sent it to this person, that person, this company, that company gone. Let's like, try this idea. Let's try this plan. Let's try this plan. And it's just been a nightmare. Um, but the current choice of, uh, path I think is going to actually come to fruition. I believe I can release the journal on a digital download. So it's like just a PDF file. So like we still plan on making hard copies you know, that we can ship out, but like that route has been most of the trouble. So we decided, you know, instead of we've been talking about this thing for so long and everyone has been waiting for it, why don't we just get it into people's hands in whatever form that we can do it the quickest, right? So we decided I made a, I rewrote it again into a PDF so that you can just download it off of our website and it should, in theory, the only reason it's not done is because this part in theory is what I still need to do. I need to, to test its compatibility with different phones, different computers. I need to make sure that no matter who you are, where you are, what device you're using and what version, whatever, that it's going to work properly for you as intended. Um, but ideally the lifeboat journal companion, uh, will be released tomorrow, tomorrow evening. Uh, either before or after the boat, I would imagine. But um, that's what I'll be working on tonight after the boat. That's what I'll be working on tomorrow when I wake up. I'm going to make sure that this thing is going to work for everyone and uh, we should have it up and live. And I, I, I can't tell you guys how excited I am. I have been working on this thing <laughs> for so long. Um, I can't wait for you guys to finally see it. So. There is a website, the lifeboat.live. Don't forget the at the beginning. Um, the lifeboat.live is our website. And it is still very much a work in progress, but it is in a functional form. Uh, we did not put any merch on there yet. Our merch is still through our fourth wall um, affiliate. Uh, but on, on the lifeboat.live website, there's, um, I intend to put up our schedule. I intend, right now, there's, uh, um, events. There are, I shouldn't, I shouldn't walk you through it. You guys should go check it out. There's lots of stuff on there. 
Um, and the things on there that are not functioning, it's posted uh, that they're a work in progress. So there are some things that are working and some things that aren't. But uh, it is it is it is up there, the lifeboat live. Uh, but that is where I will be putting the journal, and I intend to update the friends of the boat page on there as well. I know that the in the Discord um, server we've updated the friends of the boat. Um, I have not been able to do that on the website yet. Um, but yeah, anyways, the the lifeboat live is still in its infancy, and. We are. We have big, big dreams for um, the purpose that it's going to serve, and right now it, it is currently serving some of them. So, let me know what you guys think. Um, the photos in there are mostly placeholders. Um, I'd like to get. If you guys actually, this is. I'm so glad I thought of this and brought this up just now. If there are crew members um, that want to be featured on the Lifeboat Live, send me in like some pictures of yourself or like. If like there are pictures of lifeboaters getting together and hanging out, those pictures should go on the website as well. Um, yeah, if you guys have anything like that, um, send that to me, please. My sober, pardon me, sober at myyahoo.com. That once again, that is sober at myyahoo.com. Yes, please, seventh. Um, I wouldn't change uh, what y'all do for anything. All right, and. Uh, yeah, in fact, I would be honored if you would tell jokes in here, dude. I think that would be super cool. I understand that thing with Yankee Kyle might have been out of left field. Let me explain something. I probably should have explained this to him rather than just timing him out immediately. Um, I don't know what the deal is, and I probably should take the time to find out because I owe that much to a lifeboater. You know what I mean? Um, but Yankee Kyle comes in here every day and says the same thing. And that's a little fishy, right? And then it, the, the thing that he says every day is I'm 36 plus years sober and I'm very proud. And that's great. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you. But I think that coming in here and saying that every single day is one, it kind of feels mocking to me. And again, I, maybe I am taken that the wrong way. I mean, text is hard to read. You know, I'm sure I, I don't get the vibe that he's has ill will at all either. It doesn't, that's not what I'm thinking, but it, I don't think that he understands that coming in here and saying that every single day is, I feel like trivializing and minimizing the extremely hard work that the, that some life voters have put in to be sober. Um, and the reason I say that is because I believe Yankee Kyle is 36 years old. And again, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm, I have the wrong information, you know, and I'm, I, I, I'm not supposed to take other people's inventory. That's for each individual to do on their own. You know what I mean? Like whatever he's got going on, I, I support him. I love him. But it really bothers me deeply to my core when he comes in here and says that. And for the longest time, I thought lesser of myself for feeling that way. And I don't think I need to beat myself up for feeling that way. I think I just need to have a conversation with the cat and we can come to some understanding. But um, if that's the message that he wants to share every single day, I'm not going to allow it. It bothers me a lot. Um, and, you know, maybe I can have a conversation. Maybe I'll have a conversation with some lifeboaters on the subject and, and I'll see a new perspective or, you know, whatever. Like I'm open. I'm open to that. Um, but right now it, it, it like I, I can't put words to how much it bothers me when he says that. And, and again, I feel guilty for feeling that way. I feel like I shouldn't feel that way. There's obviously something else going on here, right? He, he's not deserving of my ire at all. And in fact, I should probably treat him a little better, but, uh, man, <laughs> I've shed blood and tears for my sobriety. And I know damn well y'all have too. Um, and that means a lot to me. So email me with your thoughts on that too, please. Or just uh, tell me here because I think I do need, I need some lifeboat feedback on that one. Because I, I, feel, I feel like I handled it poorly. I appreciate you guys. Thank you.
stuff. And you know, I don't know. Maybe he has put in a ton of hard work. Like that's another thing. Like who am I to judge him? I haven't asked him one question. And I think that's a problem. You know, you know, and uh, again, I don't think that this is the end of the world situation, but I, I strive to treat everybody how I would like to be treated. I strive to be the best person that I can be. Earlier this morning on my dad's morning show, he said to, to create a more perfect union. Like I'm always constantly striving to create a more perfect me, you know, and I believe deeply that being good doing good, thinking good, feeling good, wanting good has much more of an effect than just doing good, thinking good, being good, feeling good. Like me striving to be a more perfect me has ripple effects in my life that cannot be like quantified and related. Like it enriches my life in ways that I can't, there isn't math for, you know what I mean? So I'm constantly trying to be that in this interaction that I frankly, quite frankly, created with, uh, with Yankee bothers me. It bothers me because I think I went about it wrong. But anyways, I also, it, it bugs me how, um, my dad would be self-deprecating on stream. So maybe I should not do that as well, but I did just want to share those feelings with you guys, because I think that that's cool to do. I think it's cool to share those kinds of feelings, especially you guys have been here with me for all this situation. So y'all have witnessed it, you know? So I value y'all's perspective and opinion. And yeah, um, I want you guys to know that I'm, there's no ill will or anything. I just, I didn't know how to handle it. So I handled it, if that makes sense. And I intend to, to handle it differently moving forward. Go get them resin. Matrix Rabbit, you got this. We got this. Thank you, Jazzy. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Yeah, you know. You know. It makes me feel good to know that other people also feel that way. Because sometimes I think I'm crazy. You know what I mean? Sometimes the thoughts in my head are not rational. So it is really validating to know that, like, that's not just a crazy thought that I had, you know? But again, like, I don't get the impression that there's ill will at all. I Like, so there has to be more to it. And, you know, I, sh I should should be asking these questions. Have you really, dude? That's really interesting. I decided at one point the best way to handle it was to silently delete it. Um, but I think that Band-Aid solutions are not solutions at all, are they? They're just doorstops. Sometimes the lies we tell ourselves are the hardest to see through. Love you, Kara. Thanks for hanging out so late. I promise we'll be doing other time slots as well so that everybody can catch some, all right? Um, I'm not going to be doing any radical changes. We'll still be doing the sevens, all right? But I would like to do some other time slots so that we can sh spread the love. You know what I mean? Thank you again for hanging out with us, all right? All right. I think we're going to wrap this up. And when I say I'm going to wrap this up, it's probably going to take me about five minutes to wrap it up. But I think we're shifting into uh, wrap up gear. You know, but it's it's up to me to like bridge the gap and communicate. You know what I mean? And I intend to do so. Thank you, Admiral. Fantastic. All right, y'all. To the whole crew, from me to you, it has been a blast. Um, in my wildest dreams, I couldn't have expected this to go have gone how it went. And how it went was mind-blowing, amazing. I feel like I'm walking on air. I'm probably going to go do a little dance. 
uh, maybe moonwalk down the street a little bit. I don't know. I have to do something though, because there is all this energy inside of me now. And uh, it's thanks to you guys. It's thanks to the boat. And uh, I look forward to doing this every single friggin' day. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. All right. I'll see you in the comment section. I'll see you in discord. Feel free to reach out again. That's sober at my com for the emails. Um, yeah, stay safe and uh, reach out and make a new connection, all right? Much love.